And yes, look at this guess, bro. Holy moly, 3.5 kilometers away. What is going on, guys? Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. You guys really seemed to enjoy my last video where I took on Steak in Jules. I said that he was the best player in the world for last video. Well, there's one other contender in my eyes for the best player in the world, and that is Boki. They're both young guns, uh, much younger than I am, and uh, they are both significantly better as well. So if you think I'm good, get ready to watch a masterclass. Yeah, essentially, last time it took me about 40 minutes or something to beat Steak. Let's see how long it takes me to beat Boki. We'll definitely play six games, and if by that point I've not beaten him, we'll continue to go on. So shout outs to Boki for coming along with me today, and uh, yeah, it should be really interesting to see how long it takes me to get a win against him. So the first three games will be in no moving. Uh, let's see how I can do against him. He's he's notoriously a quick player. My first games of the day, so let's hopefully I'm not playing too bad. Anyhow, this one looks like UAE somewhere. Let's see, do we have the white car? I mean, I'm still assuming UAE anyway. Yeah, we have we have like dual language here. I would say Sharjah or something like that, but this kind of round does not really matter. Interesting, this elevation here probably man-made because normally UAE where I'm thinking is quite flat so maybe it's actually over this way as well could be because of the elevation there we'll see though and it ends up being in Sharjah or actually much further up than Sharjah I didn't even click there but hey and it ends up being a good start 250 points so uh let's see what we've got going on next here looks like we're somewhere in the US double yellows in the center uh, yeah, okay, so let's take a look around here. The bollards seem US as well. I'm not sure where I'd place this, so maybe just guessing quickly would be best. Uh, yeah, I can't remember these bollards. Like, they all, like, kind of meld into one in my mind. But I'm thinking Utah or Idaho here, so maybe just Utah head. Uh, will be the order for today. Let's see it. And it ends up being in Nevada. So actually a really good start here. We could actually beat him first game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but uh, it's definitely early uh, and good damage here. Okay, so the next one here seems to be somewhere in North America. And uh, that's 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 almost certainly the case. And uh, okay, so we've got Starbucks here. Can we recognize this? I was thinking Texas even. I was thinking Texas here for some reason. Uh, do we have front plates? It seems like we have no front plates. So maybe somewhere nearby, maybe I'm thinking like one of the Carolinas now, South Carolina or something like that. Could certainly see it. Yeah, I think I may go there. So no fronts. Was, yeah, Georgia or South Carolina. Maybe I'll just go in Columbia, South Carolina. Seems like a nice hedge. I could even see like Birmingham or something like that. But yeah, I guess I guess uh, it's going to be any of these southern states, judging by the vibes of it. So let's go South Carolina here. Ends up being in Michigan. Wow. So the lack of front plates is definitely going to hurt us a lot here. He's going to take a lead now. Not too much of a lead, actually. We, we, we did a good job in the first round, so it's not... It's not too terrible, but uh, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't realize that I'll be further north. This one feels like Taiwan, and uh, no doubt there's some clue here to actually get the round. Um, he's gone straight in. It says Taipei, so uh, yeah, we may as well guess in Taipei here. Uh, if it's not there, then I don't know where it's going to be. And it was Taipei. Okay, that's massive damage again. He uh, he went quickly and, and clearly didn't catch that sign. So now we are right in the balance, literally only 40, what is that, 41 points between us here, so very close indeed. We've got a plate here, seems to be white. We've got a, a New York plate as well. Uh, can we get any good info here is the question. Ooh, Crownsfield, that, that might be kind of closer in here. I really don't mind a, a, a guess close to New York here, so I'm just gonna go kind of like near Manhattan, this side, could be Long Island as well. Wow, it was Boston actually. Uh, so the New York plate tricked us a bit there and he's uh, he's gotten really close, so I was kind of, uh, I t tunnel vision didn't too much on the sign, should have checked the other plates as well because Maybe some of them were actually, you know, Massachusetts plates as well. Yeah, this one should be Taiwan as well, I imagine. And, and with big, big mountains like that. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? That is a Hong Kong taxi. My goodness. Uh, that is, uh, that's very lucky that I saw that. Hopefully he's gone to Taiwan. No, he hasn't. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very glad that I saw that taxi in time. Otherwise, I would have gone Taiwan there. To be fair, the uh, the buildings, I didn't remember seeing such a vast number of like similarly, similar height skyscrapers over there. But yeah, this one's... This one is in Brazil, which is kind of concerning. So I would lean like Bahia here, but it's quite green. So maybe even like kind of just like in the middle of everything here. Let's take one more look because he's guessed. Oh, I could even see it being out here somewhere. Royim is even possible, I feel, but yeah, he might knock me out here, to be honest. I'm, I'm not confident. And it ends up being in Accra, and of course he got the right road. Okay, so that is the first one. We put up, we put up a good fight, did over a thousand damage, um, and uh, we lose. So uh, not too bad. Let's see if we can get him in the second game here. All right, game number two here. Let's see what got going on. I was la late to load in here. I'm just gonna go for the Ruhr area here. Seems seems like safe enough. We'll see what it actually is. And it ends up being in Duisburg. So not a not a terrible result there, especially considering I loaded in late. So happy with that. We should be somewhere in the Netherlands, I assume, with the yellow. Rear plates. Not sure. He, he may know where these places are, but I am just going to go for the Hague here and no. 
hope that it's kind of a good hedge, ends up being north of Amsterdam, so no massive damage done there, that's that's a fine result, it's a fine result. See what we got going on in round three here, a rural location, okay, okay, Eu Europe somewhere, presumably. Um, taking a look around here, not really sure where I think this is actually, I would say maybe uh, Slovenia, but could actually be northern Spain. Oh, what's that? What's that road marker? I think that, I think you get those in Romania, now it could be elsewhere as well, but... I'm going to guess in the hills of Romania here. Could even be like up here, I consider, but we'll see. And it ends up being a French one, dude. That's uh, that's unfortunate. That's going to be big damage, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, almost low health there. So I couldn't remember uh, what the deal was with that, but clearly, clearly that was wrong. Okay, so USA here. Uh, green on the plate, interestingly. Uh, here's where some plate knowledge would do me good. Uh, Green plates, yes, I guess. I guess it is Vermont. I guess it is Vermont, but these are big mountains. Some of these plates don't... Quite right for Vermont, I would say. Okay, so it is the it is the Vermont Highway signs here. So uh, very big mountains. I guess I guess we could be in like a town up here where, where you see some of the biggest ones, like near this near this uh, kind of mountain range here. So I'm gonna guess. I mean, otherwise he's gonna otherwise he's gonna 5k here. He has a tendency to do that. So I guess we'll find out now. It ends up being in the very south corner of the state in uh, Brut Bruttelboro or Brattleboro. Uh, and so I, I take even more damage there, unfortunately. So this one's been not quite as successful as the first game. Uh, this one looks Canadian uh, or American. I, I suppose it could be in Alaska as well. Uh, unfortunately, he's probably going to like be really good at this type of round. So I've just got to kind of like guess something like that. I'm going to go Stuart Crossing here. Uh, who knows if that's actually a good guess. I, maybe it's going to be further south, to be honest, because where I've guessed is a bit too mountainous. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. And of course, it was in northern Manitoba, and he was 55 meters away. He's actually 5k'd that round. That's kind of, kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Can't lie. It wasn't a good guess anyway. I was just a bit. I, I just knew he'd probably 5k it. All right. So game number three here. We're starting in Mexico. That's for sure. Now, can we actually figure out where we are? We've got phone codes and everything. Hopefully, he doesn't know that. I would say. I would say it's maybe near the American border here. That's kind of the the, the feeling I get. It's kind of like reminds me of Amer an American town. So. I was even thinking Baja California, but I might just go kind of like, I don't know, maybe even, maybe even on the border. Is that too risky? Might be too risky. I, it just really reminds me of America. So I might go for the full, the full, uh, you know, the full experience and guess on the border here. It's risky, but yeah, it was on the border, but he's going to do massive damage to me, of course. A whole 1,700 points. Not what I wanted to see. Still not a bad guess, but uh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he really had it down packed there. So... Round number two, already already below half health here. Uh, we got English. Obviously, this will be somewhere in the USA, I assume. Uh, and I was thinking... Um, I was thinking maybe Georgia. I was thinking maybe Georgia for this one could make sense. I mean, we'll find out. Uh, ends up being in Tennessee, so not a terrible guess. He might actually knock me out here, though. It's a really nice guess. Uh, he, he doesn't. He doesn't at all. Okay, so misjudged my maths, but he was really close guessing in Arkansas there. And the next one, we have Big Mountains. So... I guess it's going to be somewhere in oh, it's Argentina with the black car, and I would say this is maybe even kind of deep south, like like all the way down here somewhere. So that's kind of what I was thinking here. So could we be on this road here? I think this might be Gen Three. This road here. So that's kind of my thought here. I'm going to go for it. I I, I seem to remember that it might have been autumn coverage, and in, in that coverage there. So I I, I can I think this might be a good guess. If not, it's probably like somewhere over here in this region. Um, in which case we're going to lose. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was just. Yeah, I, I forget that stuff. So, <laughs> not a good guess. Not a good guess there. And uh, we finish off the no moving section with with a clean sweep from Boki, which is impressive to say the least. Uh, but now we're going to move on to NMPZ, and I don't feel like I'm playing my best today. So we're going to see how long this actually takes. Okay, round number one here. This is uh, the good thing about NMPZ. It's it's more luck based. The bad thing is that uh, he knows a lot more places than I do. So, round one here we have uh, like a big open lake here. We're driving like this one with the green plates, I'm assuming is Bangladesh. I think you do see those sometimes there. Am I missing something obvious? I don't think so. So we're crossing like a big lake here. Uh, we're kind of going east to west. So this one's definitely findable. Could be something like this. I think I'll just try that. I think it probably makes sense. And we see like some kind of, we see, we see some level of like it being built up um, nearby. So maybe actually near Dakar would make more sense here. So I might actually go for something like that. Um, let's see, let's see here. I would not be surprised if he manages the 5k, but yeah, with, with that level of built up, I think Duck Arm makes the most sense. I, I'm assuming those are like skyscrapers or something, and they're not. Or, yeah, I, I guess, uh, I guess they were just like some cranes or something like that, but it doesn't really matter. The points are pretty even here. 
Okay, and the next one here we have white center lines. Uh, it's this is like a rare like road like layout. I guess we're in South Africa with the yellow outers. Uh, sun to the north, so we're in the southern hemisphere here. And uh, we kind of have rolling hills, which is really interesting. So maybe somewhere near George here kind of makes sense. You have quite a few rolling hills over there. It's fairly green. Feels coastal as well. In fact, that is the coast of the south here. So maybe wilderness. I mean, we're on a bridge. Let's try this. Um, uh, the road angle is incorrect, but I'm just trying to think of actually other places that fit here. We could be right near uh, Johannes. I mean, right near Cape Town as well. That's my other thought. I'm actually going to go over here, though. Um, it's more of a hedge. That way, if it's like kind of this region here, we get points as well. Uh, but it would not, I would not be surprised about this kind of region over here as well. Because these rolling hills, they look distinctive. And wow, he's actually gotten it. Um, I didn't use the road angle properly there, so we're going to take a lot of damage, obviously. Uh, so, you know, the fourth game, not looking too good here. Um, but that's you just have to keep persevering until you get that seed, you know? And so maybe a quick guess here, maybe a quick guess. Uh, could be in order. I'm just going to go for Northern Columbia here, Northern Central, and it ends up being way south. So that could have been a nice opportunity to pick up some points. Instead, we lose 300. Uh, didn't quite have the wherewithal to uh, go deep south there. I, I didn't didn't really strike me as deep south, but I can see it in hindsight, obviously. And this one should be Poland. It will be Poland. And I'm not too sure where to guess. The road quality is really good. Definitely, definitely Poland. So I'm going to guess kind of like Central Southern here. Ends up being the other side of the country. So again, losing more points here. It's going to be a full 400 at least. Yeah, 450. So we're down to dire health here. And we have not done any damage this round. So <laughs> this is, I mean, this is about, this is about how it should go, you know. Um, hmm. uh, what is this? I think it's USA. I'm just going to guess on the border of BC and Washington here. It's the best thing I can think of. And wow, Kentucky. Why did I misjudge that so badly? I don't know. But of course we got knocked out. I mean, had to go for something fancy, I guess, but it really didn't work out. So that is game number four. And uh, it's not it's not feeling close, but hey, I mean, last time all it took was one guess, really. So oh, let's see what we got going on on round number five here, game number five. Um, we hope we need big countries and we need really good guesses. That is, that is the, uh, that is the prerogative here. So got a rather flat round here. I was thinking Netherlands off the bat. Maybe this is a little hilly. So maybe, maybe Belgium, maybe Belgium fits better here. I'm going to go for Belgium near France and it ends up being in Northern France. So not a terrible guess. We're about equidistant and we do a tiny bit of damage there. So at least we did some damage. That is a good sign. Uh, let's, let's see if we can continue on like that, like we did at the start of the video where I really thought I might be able to knock him out. Okay, this one should be Canada. This one should be Canada. Uh, it's quite dry, so I'm thinking southern. I was thinking southern Manitoba here, so why not give it a go? Okay, he's he's put me in. That's good. Uh, I really like southern Manitoba here. I'm thinking maybe even further out, though, so maybe Hartney or something like that. Could work. Ends up being... He goes for the same guess. Ends up being all the way in Alberta, which is something I did consider, but uh, he's going to do a bit, tiny bit of damage to me, so... Not, not, not a problem. Not a problem. I think you know if I'm guessing in the same place as he's guessing, that's a that's a that's a compliment to me. I think. Okay, so this one's definitely somewhere in Malaysia, and uh, I'm thinking kind of just central, central southern maybe. This is the best thing I can think of. I'm just gonna go for it, and it ends up we guess in the same spot again. Ends up being near Parak or in Parak, I guess, um, that area, and um, we take a bit more damage, but nothing, nothing too bad. And here's a Japan one to uh, really throw a spanner in the works. I could do big damage here if I'm lucky. Uh, it feels southern to me. It does feel southern, but maybe not too southern. So I'm going to go kind of... My thought is actually, uh, if I can find Japan here, my thought was like maybe near Fukuoka, uh, that kind of region here. So I'm going to go for the big play. Ends up being northern. So we both kind of had the same vibe, but I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to take a thousand damage here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the Japanese folly is just... It's really hard to distinguish, and that was a good example of that. Uh, okay, this one should be Brazil. I was thinking Accra for this one. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Put him in. I think he's quite good at Brazil, so I don't expect to be gaining many points here, but what? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was a bad guess. Okay. Uh, well, well, that landscape looked very Brazilian. Um, I was not expecting Sri Lanka there. I, I knew the poles were kind of strange, but... I just thought maybe, you know, Amazon rainforest things. Okay, I'm getting pounded here. This is, this is, uh, this is no joke. This is no joke. On to game number six, I believe, or, or seven. Uh, I always lose track by this point. This one feels fairly northern to me, but 
Yeah, I think the tree coverage is fairly sparse. I'm gonna go for like a kind of a, like a nice northern hedge here. It ends up being exactly where I had it, unfortunately, but uh, you know, still it's not too much damage, so we really don't have to worry about that. Okay, so not bad, especially because he's from Sweden. So, uh, you know, that's kind of his neck of the woods. I'm happy to have not kept the damage, to, or kept the damage low. So this one feels red and white chevrons. Where is this? Oh, dude, why am I, why is it not coming to mind? Is it, is it actually, uh, I think it's actually Turkey. I think Turkey makes the most sense here. Uh, and I was just kind of thinking this region here, but I never know where to go. So let's, let's see it. Eh, ends up being a decent guess. I mean, if we're not taking too much damage there, considering how long it took me to think of what actual country it was, I'm happy with that guess. That's that's fine with me. Okay, next one here. We appear to be in like I thought Romania off the bat here. Still don't hate Romania, but Feral, what is that word? What language is that word from, I wonder? Uh, it doesn't feel like Greece. Like some really thick road lines here. I actually don't know where this is. I actually don't know where this is. Just gonna click Eastern Europe. I mean, if in doubt, right, let's go like <laughs> Serbia. I don't know, I don't know where this is. Oh wow, it was in Croatia. Okay, not terrible. Um, you know what, Serbia is, yeah, we only lose a thousand points if if that. So, you know, that that's that's not a bad result. Um, at least I didn't go Romania. That would have been a lot more damage. This one is gonna be somewhere in Ukraine and it could be an opportunity to gain some points here. Just trying to think of what vibe it gives me. Maybe more so near the Russian side. Um, I'm gonna go like between Kharkiv and Kiev here, so let's see. And you know, we 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 had similar thoughts again, but it ends up being the V. But he's the consistent theme of this seed is he, he's either gotten a lot closer than me or a little closer than me, and most of the runs just a little closer than me, which is a shame to be sh to be sure. Uh, this dirt road, maybe maybe I can see like somewhere up here. So uh, this is a hard round, so I have the potential here to do well, and he actually gets the right road, so. Uh, yeah, not a good look there at all, um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I just have to go for, like, when it's those hard rounds, I gotta go in quick, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is, yeah, okay, well, you know what, keep my head up, uh, I'll get a good guess eventually here, you know, one, one like that where I know it and he doesn't, or I guess it and he doesn't, probably more likely. Here's the next one, okay, so, Patchy Road, I would say somewhere in... Soviet, ex-Soviet Union, maybe, maybe Ukraine again here makes sense. I was thinking Northern this time, uh, so I'm gonna go near Kiev here, uh, and hope for the best. Mm, do I like that? I don't know. Uh, ends up being in Russia, actually, so, yeah, we pick the same place, and ends up being close to St. Petersburg. Considering the road quality, that's kind of surprising, but, hey, we did some damage this round, that's what we like to see. This one's some Trekker, is it Trekker? No, it's actually just Street View. Oh, uh, and Tamar Handi. Is that... Not Bali, but the, the 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 top of the house almost looks Balinese, and so I'm thinking of guessing around there, to be honest. Sun, not really too helpful, but Tamar Mandi is really interesting. Uh, the houses are kind of random as well, so I'm really thinking like I'm really thinking about where this could be. Maybe maybe one of the ones near Bali could make sense here, like this island here or something. But of course, we need like a we need like some kind of like water inlet, something like this maybe. Uh, but yeah, nothing I can see is actually fitting off the bat here, and he may find it, which is, of course, a problem. So, maybe something like that. I can see that being the case, so I may as well just go for it here. I thought the buildings looked Indo, but I, I could be really wrong. It could be still this language. I, I just don't know what the language is. That's the real confusing thing about this round to me, so I guess we'll see. And did he 5k? He didn't guess. Okay, he may have actually crashed here, so I don't think this is uh, necessarily our win. Okay, well, nice to know that we got the country in the last one. His internet is back on here, so let's see. Let's see how he managed in round number one here. I was thinking Europe here. I was thinking Europe, but it's not entirely obvious to me where this should be. Definitely right-hand drive, which is good, so... Excludes a bunch of places, but where is it? Could it... What's this language here? That's what's really confusing me. That actually looks like some Asian script, so... Oh, gosh, I don't know where it is. I'm just going to click Philippines in panic mode here. Wow, it was... Curacao, I literally thought of Curacao because I thought this word looked like a uh, Dutch or something. Um, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, like it would have, like, to be, he got it as well, so it wouldn't have been that, like, good even, but, uh, you know, would have been an insane guess. I think if I could have sat there for a while, I could have gotten Curacao, but unfortunately, you know, without the car matter, it is, it is more difficult to get. But yeah, I swear, like, it, it looked like a Dutch sign or something to me. I'm not joking, did cross my mind. Anywho, uh, here's the next one, we got blue strips on the plates. 
Uh, it's not Port. Is it Portugal? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't believe in Portugal, so I'm just going to go Czechia here. Hope for the best. It ends up being in Bulgaria. That is unfortunate. That round did not strike me as particularly Bulgarian, so we're losing 2,000 off the bat here. Not too good. Not too good. That's for sure. Um, and he's so close as well, just within 50 kilometers is crazy. Next one here, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know exactly where to put this one. I would say Europe, this could be an opportunity to pull big points, of course. Maybe this is North America. I'm actually kind of leaning that way, so I'm gonna try Toronto area. This We could just knock him out here if he uh, opts the wrong way, but I think without an antenna, yeah, that's huge. That's huge stuff. Uh, how, what are we getting? Only 2.5K though, so we still need a good guess. We're about even now. Um, Okay, that's very nice. Uh, next one's left-hand drive. I would say it's I would say it's going to be somewhere in Sri Lanka, and so the question is where. I think with this amount of palm trees, I am thinking southern. So let's just kind of go around there, and it ends up being north of Colombo actually. So we're going to lose a little bit more points here, but uh, still in the balance and still a slight advantage to us. All we need is a good guess, uh, which is you know what we've needed for a while. And it's unfortunate I didn't go US on that round before, to be honest. Double whites in the center. Is this South Africa? I think it is, but something about it seems wrong. I think it must be South Africa. And so, I don't know, double whites is weird though. Don't they normally put like a dash in the center for the double whites? In which case, I'm, I'm just not sure it is. I'm just not sure it is. I'm gonna go Italy then. No idea. Wow, it was Greece? Okay, will we stay in here? Yeah, I don't think we will. Uh, just maybe? No, four points in it, bro. That's so annoying. Um, actually, and double white line should be a Greece. I should be guessing Greece there. That's a bit silly. Um, so, I mean, I just thought about South Africa for too long. And by the time I did, uh, I was out. Okay, next round here. Feeling US, feeling US, that's for sure. These big red mountains, though. It's a really interesting landscape. Um... I was just thinking of like a Arizona or New Mexico or something like that. Maybe Arizona makes the most sense here near Grand Canyon. Why not? Yeah, I think I like it best. I think I like it best. I might even guess kind of closer to Nevada here. And it ends up being in Argentina. Gosh. It didn't... Th Dude, I should know that because the lines didn't seem American and I probably could have used the sun, but I didn't even properly consider it. That's so annoying. Like, dude, he's making a he's making a fool of me, honestly. Like, the truth is that I'm a good player and he's making a fool of me. I barely, to be fair, I'm not playing that well today, but wow, I mean, yeah, it's it's no good. It's no good at all. This one feels at least Finnish, so I'm feeling good about that. Well, why don't we go for like some interesting guesses now? Let's let's start committing to some interesting ones. I'm gonna go over here in Finland. Deep south, uh, who knows? Ends up being in Sweden actually. So he got Sweden, of course, but we're gonna be about equidistant. He's doing a slight amount of damage to me here. Um, hmm. I guess the red buildings did maybe feel a little bit more Swedish, but you definitely see him in Finland too. So this one will be somewhere in Colombia and I'm thinking Northern. I was thinking somewhere over here even maybe. Um, so just trying to think of anywhere that kind of fits me. Maybe this region here. Let's, let's give that a go. Ends up being a little closer. Okay. This is the, another good start. Um, we're going to do another 300 points here. So, you know, it's all, it all counts. It all counts. That may be the difference maker at some point in this seed, but really he, he's, he's quick. He's, he, I think he guesses quicker than Steak, which puts me under the pressure here. Okay. We're going to exit full screen to the, see this, see this puzzle. Feels like, feels like Czechia or Slovakia, I would say. Can we see any domain name or anything? It feels like an ancient city, so I would say one of the capitals would make the most sense here. And language maybe feels more Czech. I, I, may, I may just go, uh, I may just go in Prague here and hope for the best. Architecture wise, I couldn't really say, but yeah, it is Prague. So that is good. Um, and uh, we're gonna do one point damage. So again, another another win for your boy Zigzag. <laughs> Okay, this one is New Zealand. Hey, we can do damage. We have not had a single Australia round yet, but we can do damage on New Zealand, I believe. Hmm. Hey, North Island, I was thinking. North Island, I was thinking here. South, we see hills and mountains. Okay, so let's go in here. Maybe just in the center. Let's, let's just try center. It could work. Um, and it ends up being... Yeah, a little further away, but still a good guess. Still a good guess, all things considered. Um, we're going to be going down to even here. So, yeah, basically exactly even. Please be Australia. Last time I asked for Australia against Steak, it worked. So, I think that's what we got to do to knock him out here. Have an Australia go in really, really quick and uh, take the W like that. I don't know where this is, but I'm thinking of going Maine. 
I'm gonna go main. Uh, quick send, quick send. Uh, who knows if that's gonna be at all correct, but it was my thought. Yeah, ooh, insane guess. Okay, we take that. We take that, boys. 800 points there. It's gonna take him below 2k. That is a good guess. That is a good guess. I'm loving it. Okay. Um, next one here. Restaurant. Okay, focus, focus, focus. I think it's Arge. I think it should be Arge. What, the, what is it, though? Are we driving left? Dude, I can't even tell where this is. Sun should be maybe more to the north. I don't know where this is, bro. Um, okay, I guess I just have to go Argentina, bro. Because I can't think of anything better here. Could actually be... I'm just going to go Buenos Aires because it could be Montevideo. I could easily see that. Oh, why are there no blue strips? Oh, it's just the Italian... It's the Spanish rounds with no blue strips, bro. Aish. Dude, why... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they'd have it in English in, well, I don't know actually what restaurant is in Spanish if they just say restaurant as well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Come on, Australia round. Come on, Australia. Come and, come and save me. Come and save me. My, my homeland needs to right now. This is, this is getting, this is getting bad. Okay. Next one. I was thinking, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a wide road. You don't see wide roads as often in Estonia. So I'm going to go for Lithuania here. I think it's more likely. Ends up being Lithuania. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. We got the right country. Um, you know, 121 damage. Pretty standard at this point. You, you guys all have all seen me, uh, go the right country, but still, still lose points. That's, that's to be expected. Okay. This one's an interesting round. Okay. Sun is to the South in so Northern hemisphere. Dude, we just gotta go for something. We gotta go for something fancy here. I'm going. I'm going uh, Sardinia. Is it is it flat enough to be Sardinia? I'm not sure. Could it be Greece as well? Actually, maybe we should think about this a little longer. Uh, I'm going Sardinia. Screw it. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be one of the two. And if it's Sardinia, we get simply massive points. So I just hope I've like had the right first impression of this one. And it ends up being in Italy. So that is a good result. A very good result indeed. So we take a nice early advantage there. Uh, he went Spain, interestingly, but Greece would have been better. This one, oh no. Is it, is it Greenland? It is Greenland. I think when they're four polled, it's on this coast. I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to go here. Uh, this is a nice little hedge. It keeps me in the game if I'm completely wrong. But four poles, I think, is, is on the west coast. I think that is the truth of it. And it ends up being all the way up there. So yeah, he went on the wrong coast, technically speaking, by the meta, but we lose points because I don't recognize my Greenlandic towns. It would have been a good opportunity to go for something crazy, but I didn't, I didn't want to lose like that. This one's Italy. This one is Italy. I'm assuming it could be Albania, actually. Something about, uh, well, something about this poll reminds me more of Albania, I must say. So I may actually go there. I may actually go there. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know where to, so I'm just going to go on the coast there. Pfft, who knows? Um, that hill is kind of strange, kind of looked more Italian to me, but this poll felt more Albanian, so that's why, that's why I'm going off. I'm going off the poll here, and it ends up being... Okay, he, he must have crashed again, which is probably good news for us. We were winning, but uh, yeah, I guess he I guess he crashed. <laughs> okay, his internet had indeed crashed, which is unfortunate because we were winning, but we probably would have lost a lot of points on that Italy anyway, or at least our entire lead, I assume, so... Yeah, I mean, this one should be somewhere in Poland. I'm going to go smack dab kind of like this side. I mean, not quite in the middle, but almost. And it ends up being a nice guess. Okay, we do some damage there. Kind of felt like Ukrainian architecture to me. That was my logic. So it's a good start again. And who knows, maybe if that round was tacked on to the end of the last one, we would have, uh, you know, been going well. But anyway, this one's Europe. And because I'm not too sure, I may just go for... Mm, what is this road about? That's kind of curious to me. It's kind of road. I'm just going to go for France. I mean, this is like a bit of a wimp move, but I can't think of anything better. So let's see. Ends up being in Belgium. Okay. Not, not, not a terrible, not a terrible guess. We're, we're not going to lose much there at all. Basically it goes into the balance here where we've got a slight lead still. And the next one's Australia. Okay. Let's get a guess in instantly here. Uh, best thing I can think of is just like on this border here. Oh, let's, let's hope it's correct. I mean, I, I assume it's going to be Southern. Oh, man, that was our opportunity, and it's not even that good of a guess. Just slightly better than his. New South Wales it is. Um, I just saw similar coverage where I clicked recently there, so, but, you know, that's a, a why it have to be a, like, you know, a, a hard Oz round should be good, but I just didn't recognize it. I'm thinking this is Bulgaria. Uh, I'm not really sure what guardrails they often use in Bulgaria. I, it looks more like Bulgaria than uh, Hungary to me. So I'm just going to hedge in the middle and it ends up being correct. Good, good, good. Okay, so finally hitting my stride, playing a bit better. These were my first GeoGuessr games of the day. So it could could explain 
uh, why 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 the video started off quite poorly, but starting to play better now. And this one, as I say, that is a difficult round. I would say Bulgaria again, but it could be Turkey. So I might just guess like kind of on the border between the two countries here, but I also don't mind Romania either. So I'm just going to guess in the middle again, do the, the classic middle hedge and it ends up being in Turkey, but right there. So that is, that is a good uh, shout from us. I kind of had the right vibe there. So we're in the lead again. And had we, you know, been on the old points, maybe I could have won, but you know, let's not think about that. Let's just go for Turkey here. Something to our North. I don't know where this is, bro. I'm just going to go for a lake here. Hope for the best. Um, I don't mind where I put it, to be honest, but it could be any of these ones, and we just have to hope that I pick near the right one, to be honest. Um, wow, and uh, he is two meters away. I thought maybe he timed out again, but no. So it wasn't it wasn't a bad guess from us, though. It was just the big lake there, which is, you know, which is kind of what I expected, to be honest, but I was too scared to go. I mean, this one is Ghana, and I would say... It's like, it's like over here or over here, this deep red soil. I'm thinking of going over here, to be honest. I'm going to try that. It feels like super high rainfall, so coastal, mm, maybe I do prefer over here. It's, it's one of the two, but I don't see any elevation, so why not down here? Let's try it. Ends up being, yeah, not, not, too, not too bad of a guess. Actually better than if I went over there, so just a bit of damage here, just a bit of damage. Yeah, it didn't actually feel that coastal, to be honest. Okay, next one. This is, this is damage possibility here. Uh, Peru. I would say. Oh no, maybe. Hmm. I actually can't tell. Where's the sun? The sun's more so to the north, but maybe Bol Bolivia or Peru either makes sense here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the 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 play here and go near Lima. It could be the case. And it ends up being Chile. Okay, I didn't even consider Chile. I just thought with like this uh, kind of terribly battered um, guardrail that we wouldn't be in Chile, but but it was, it was, it was, and that makes sense for the sun. But still, I think I would go Bolivia or Peru over Chile there. So, I mean, let's keep going here. It's going to, this, this one might be an even longer video than last time because I don't seem to be getting, I don't seem to be getting him under a thousand HP here. And, and uh, so we need some big achievement here. This one is very flat for Japanese standards. I'm thinking of just going around Tokyo, kind of this kind of area here where you have some flatness. Yeah, ends up being in Tokyo, so same guess there. Nothing to be ashamed of, a little bit of damage indeed. Let's hope that uh, we can keep it going nicely here. This one looks like Romania, which is probably not very good. Romania's not, definitely not my strong suit. Uh, I'm going to guess over here. So for the best, ends up being a nice guess. Okay, okay. The architecture kind of reminded me of over here, if I even know what I'm talking about at all. Maybe, you know what, if, I, if it was down here, I certainly would have said that, but well, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm right. This one feels, hmm. I actually don't know what continent this is. Sun seems to be to the south. So it should be in Europe somewhere. I was thinking, uh, well, I was thinking Portugal, so I might just go for it. Um, you know what? I've got to trust my instincts sometimes here and really just hope for the best because this is just, it's, it's just another level, bro. We both went Portugal. It was Italy. Don't feel too bad about that. I mean, but uh, hey, I mean, we still lose points. Typical, typical. But yeah, this is just like, you know, it's it just like, I play so much GeoGuessr, and yet, and yet this is the result when I come up against Boki. Um, okay. Europe again, I would say. Maybe Portugal again. I'm, I'm hitting Portugal again. I think I'm just going to go there. And it was Southern France. That didn't feel French to me, but you know, we're going to lose a lot of points for it, unfortunately. Uh, another one where we had an early lead, but not a big one, to be fair. Okay, this one is looking to be somewhere in Europe. Uh, it's going to be Switzerland, and I don't know where, so I like to go middle. Uh, and it is nearby there, so no big damage, but he even got the right kind of region. 8.9 kilometers away is impressive, even for a small country like Switzerland. And so this one, these European rounds are not doing me any favors. I don't know, I think it is though, France or... Hmm. Maybe actually northern Spain. I actually may prefer northern Spain here, I think. That's what I'm going to go for. Um, we'll see. Uh, that that language does not feel French at all. Um, but the shutters on the windows are certainly interesting. I think I'm right here. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and it ends up being in this town here. And come on, I make a nice guess, just 99 kilometers away. And he's lagged out again. So that's, a, that's mildly frustrating, mildly frustrating. Okay, he said, he said the uh, crashing has never been this bad before in his whole time. So he's restarted the PC. 
see if we can uh, get a good start here again. <laughs> this one's Philippines, and uh, is a hedge in order here? I'm not really sure. I kind of feel like this is just islands, so I'm going to go Cebu here. We'll see. It ends up being, yeah, just islands, or kind of connected to the mainland, I guess, that part, but uh, yeah, pretty much even damage there. So not, not really a surprise at all. And the next one looks European. Maybe maybe his neck of the woods this time, so not exactly what I wanted to see. I would say, I would say, I would, it's Sweden, it's Sweden or Norway. I, I guess, I guess I would say, uh, hmm, maybe it is Sweden, actually. I'm going to go for Sweden here, we'll see. It ends up being in Sweden, so I'm glad I picked that up, but uh, he's also going to do a bit more damage than me. It's his country, so I'll give that one to him. Let's just have some more Australia. Come on, bring some more Australia to us, and I can win. Anywho, next one here feels maybe Dutch, so I'm just going to go for that straight away. Actually, Belgian. I would say Belgian over Dutch here. Let's try that. Uh, and... It is in the Netherlands, but we don't lose too much damage here. Right on the German border, interestingly. And so, yeah, a little more, a bit more damage, but that's the type of damage I'd like to be doing, of course. Next one here. Head Start Program. Ooh, this one's got potential. Dutch flag there. Left-hand drive, though. What's that flag about? I do not know. Uh, I would say, uh, what's the red plates? I can't remember what the red plates are, so let's go Northern Mariana Islands for that one. Ends up being in Northern Mariana Islands. If only I actually clicked it properly, because we're actually going to do some nice damage there. Happy that I uh, beat the Dutch flag, because I'm pretty sure in, over in Curacao they do not drive left. So, wouldn't have, well, they didn't drive left there either. So, I'm, I, I mean, well, I, I got myself all kinds of confused there, but regardless, it was fine. It was a fine result. This one is Indo. Just going to go for Borneo here. Not really sure where it's actually going to be, but hey, it's Borneo. Okay, this is good. This is good. What kind of points differential is that? 1.5k? We will take that. Okay, so big stuff here. Big moves. It's Australia. Okay, dude, I have to do this now. And where are we? This one looks to be... You know, it's not an easy round again here. It's not an easy round. I would say southern New South Wales is most likely. Um... <laughs> You know, it's, it's not an easy run. It's not giving me, like, it's not really giving me my domain. But I would say this might be near Aubrey somewhere, actually. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And yes, look at this guess, bro. Holy moly, 3.5 kilometers away. He still gets a good guess. He still gets a good guess, to be fair. But uh, that's that's annoying. That's annoying that he... Well played, Berkey. Well played, Berkey. But uh, and this is maybe now his area more so. Uh, what's that language? Short dashes. This should just be... I guess it's... Where is this? I do not know. I'm gonna go Bergen. Bergen, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Where is this? I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man, I clicked Bergen! Come on! Oh, man. That's really annoying. It's not too much damage. Really, we just need to hold out and get some, like, chip damage in to finish him off here. But, dude, that's so annoying. I clicked there. Next one's... Oh, man. What is this? Um... Oh, no way. It's, uh... It's Noi again. Okay, that's not too bad. I would say this is Southern. Feels quite southern to me, so so let's actually get our guess in this time. I'm gonna go in this town here. Could just be Oslo. Maybe Oslo is actually a better shot. I'm gonna try that instead. Ooh, it's Denmark. We had the a strike through the O, so is this it? Oh yes, let's go. Okay, we finally finished off the video. The PC start gave me a bit of time to reflect. We ended up doing it nicely there. Very happy with that result. I mean, that was about as long as the Steak video, and that was already a too long video as well. And this one felt just as dominant, if not a little bit more. I will see if uh, Boki wants to chat quickly now, though. Yo, Boki, you there? Yo. Well played, man. That was insane. I, you, you were really giving it to me there. That was, I was very one-sided. <laughs> yeah. GG's. Yeah, just really impressive. And you know what? Was, what annoyed me though? Hardly any Australia. Hardly any good juicy Australia rounds. That's that's what that's what had me see them. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the NSW round we got earlier was pretty generic yeah it was yeah it was yeah it was just completely generic like like i knew you'd get a good score but at least i got the right road i was happy with that <laughs> yeah that 5k was pretty good thank you yeah a few, few like uh concrete roads near aubrey there so yeah anyway i see thank you very much for playing with me appreciate it very much and uh yeah ggs like all around that was very impressive ggs all right there we go guys thanks very much for watching Shout outs to Boki for coming on. Thanks for giving me a voice chat as well, brother. And uh, yeah, that was it. Another another slightly embarrassing and yet eye-opening video. I think you guys will all agree. All right, guys. Till next time.